G'day guys, welcome to the vlog. I made it back home last night. At the moment, I just got an email from Jeff Watt Memorial Fun Run. They sent me an email because I did this race. It's a mar half marathon. I did it maybe two, maybe three years ago. Hang on, let me show you the racing shirt that I got from that race. So here it is, the Jeff Watt Memorial Fun Run, 2014. So what, like almost three years, coming on three years. I did the half marathon in 2014, and I bet my PB, but I haven't been running marathons or anything like that in quite a while. The last big run I did was 50 kilometers, and that would have been a good year ago, maybe. Uh, maybe a year, I think it was. And I haven't really been training or running as much as I really enjoy doing. So what I'm going to do is plan a routine, like a like a daily running schedule, to get me up to scratch for this half marathon. And then I just want to start doing the half marathon and then get back into marathon running. Because going straight back into a big 42k is quite a lot to ask considering I haven't been running that much lately. So I'm keen to get back into running and I'm keen to sign up for the 2017 Jeff Watt Memorial Fun Run. I went over to the website at jeffwattrun.com.au and it costs 60 bucks for the early bird entry. So I'm going to sign up for this. So it's all being paid for. I don't know much about Jeff Watt. I believe he was quite a professional runner and I think he made it to the Olympics and stuff like that. Don't quote me on that. I'm not too sure um, about his personal history, but he is a legend around the local area here. It's good to do a run for a cause of such a great individual and also a great family as well. So I'm super keen to get ready and training for this run and it should be pretty fun. Also, I forgot to mention that the race is on the 29th of October, so maybe like two, two and a half months from now. So I better get to work. <laughs> Other than marathon planning, I'm also getting out an Amazon shipment I've got a box here prepared with my SKU list and all the contents is in there. I just got to seal up the box and then put in the dimensions to Amazon and I'm going to send that one out today. I'm also working on another shipment that I will soon be getting out. I just got to get another four kilos worth of stock to make it worthwhile the shipment to get it up to the 20 kilogram maximum that I'm allowed to send out. This one's 19.5, so this one's going out today. So I'm just sending out some stuff for eBay. I sold two items. I'm shipping out this Pearl Izumi cycling jersey. This was my one that I used, and I brought this retail from a bike store. When I brought my road bike that I've got out the back there, my giant Deffy, I got this brand new with it, like sort of chucked on with the deal, plus my helmet and stuff. But I'm getting rid of it because I no longer sort of need the long sleeve one and if I need another one I'm sure I can pick it up in the thrift. I'm just in get everything kind of sold mode and, and becoming more minimalist. So this sold for 20 bucks and it is a size medium as well but it is a pretty cool jersey so this one's going out and I also did sell one of the PS1 games. I sold this Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace for 25 free shipping so that's going out like that. I'm going to put cardboard around it and then put it in this polymailer bubble bag. Here I'm just recycling package material that I got received from items that were sent to me. So I'm just going to use this to send out this item and some of that cardboard. So I spent about two hours or so listing about 20 to 25 items on eBay. And I have a few more that I'm working on doing as well. I just got to take photos for those ones. Those are these ones here, the items that I picked up yesterday. The nudie jeans. And also this Air Jordan sweater as well, vintage Nike. That's going up as well. And that book there as well, those books. So I got those items that I need to get photographed. I got them listed as well. I got the Air Jordan Nike crew neck sweater. I got that up for 50 bucks. I'm selling that on eBay and on Etsy as well for the same price. But I'm heading off to the post office. It is four o'clock. They close soon. I want to get these two packages out. And also this Amazon box as well. At the moment, I'm just working on writing up the recipe that I made for the other day for my Cooking with Cody video, that uh, chicken roast. I'm just rewriting that recipe up and making sure it's just like in a nice formation and everything. Once again, apologies for not getting that uploaded when I probably said I was going to upload it in that vlog. That vlog was more like just documenting the behind the scenes and like what I was doing that day. And I just had so much other stuff on my hands that I just couldn't, that I just didn't get the time to editing and uploading that video. And I'm still working on it now. It's a big job. And I think at the moment with the demand of how busy I am at the moment, 
I am probably only going to be able to get out one video for Cooking with Cody a week at the moment. But hopefully as time progresses and I learn the process and begin to master or become some, somewhat faster in that process of creating the recipe, editing the video, because the video is a longer video and it's a, a lot more time consuming to edit opposed to a daily vlog. Because a vlog is just documenting my day when the the recipe type videos and the cooking stuff is a creating it so it's using a lot more brain power to just get everything done if that makes any sense and once again i just want to apologize for the delay with all that also i just checked my merch by amazon account i've been putting up some designs here and there and I've been using some Facebook marketing techniques in terms of going to groups and getting interactive with the people in there about that specific niche. And I want to share with you three. I made three t-shirt sales within two this week and one last week, I think it was. But this week, I sold two items. They sold for $32.98. And I make around $450 US dollars right there, $443. It works out to be like $7.50 US that I've made so far with my merch which is almost like 10 bucks Australian. So I'm pretty proud about that, but what I'm planning on doing is getting more full on in the design process. I really like to draw. So what I'm gonna do is draw some designs up and then get them printed onto the computer and then do like vector editing with Adobe Illustrator and get some more advanced designs up because I'm pretty sure people are gonna be willing to pay for a shirt that has pretty cool designs. Let me give you an example of one of the shirts that I've put up. It's just simple stuff that you can just edit straight off Adobe Illustrator and it's nothing real fancy and that's probably why I haven't made as many sales and I have about 25 shirts up so let me show you one of the shirts that I've got up so one of the niches that I've been creating designs for is chess it's a very popular pastime and I just came up with this simple design just like this it's like king and then it has the king chess piece so that's obviously for a dad or some kind of male so that's one of the designs I haven't sold one of those so you wouldn't probably want to jump on that design but I'm just giving you an example like of how simple the, the, the designs are and how more advanced I want my merch shirts to be. So I'm probably going to dedicate some time to getting some more designs up as well. But I want to try and get this Cooking with Cody video edited and then I've got to edit a vlog tonight as well. But just working away, just getting stuff done. So I'm working out a half marathon training program for myself. My years doing physical education at school has really helped me here. Just learning about the training program set up and stuff, it's all coming back to me. And I'm setting up a program for myself at the moment. What I'm doing to start off with is just going to be doing a 3K for a couple of days, maybe four days, three kilometers. And then, well actually I'm starting it from Thursday, which is tomorrow. So 3Ks tomorrow, and then I'll get up to 5Ks, 8Ks, 10Ks, and then I'll go 8Ks, then 1K, and then I'll have to do that 8% faster than my goal pace for the marathon or half marathon with two and a half minutes recovery and then doing that times by three. So it works out to be three Ks, but a little faster tempo. And then a 10K run and then a five times 60 seconds with another 60 seconds recovery at a much faster pace. And then 8Ks, so hopefully I'm not boring you with this. And then another tempo run at 6Ks and then a 13K but I'm gonna keep building upon that and get a plan up and running for two and a half months worth of training. So by then I should be up and running literally for the half marathon. That's it from me today, guys. Thanks for watching the vlog. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also put a comment down below and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Thanks again, bye.